Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is the last day of the August Lico Day Challenge. Congratulate yourself on finishing another month, hopefully. <laughs> hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Uh, yeah, today we have South Sadugu, which is not surprising, honestly. Because, um, well, yesterday we had Rallied Sadugu or whatever it's called. Sadugu Checker. So, okay, so let's see what we're trying to do. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. I don't know if I, I mean, I have solved this. That means I have a video on this already. Oops. I don't know how much I talked about, uh, what, what I talked about last time, because it was also like four years ago. But I want to say stuff like, uh, oh, almost exactly even. Uh, I want to say stuff like, uh, you know, if you need to read up stuff like on Dancing Lanes, there's a very good uh, Wikipedia entry. These are things that are known for many years, so I don't think they're anything that new and or that I even know that much about it. But um, yeah, I think also that, you know, guarantee that there's only one solution and that it is solvable, um, makes it a lot simpler maybe. Uh, I think also, honestly, I, I'm not quite sure as I was mentioning it in my um, Discord, is that Honestly, I don't know if computers gone faster because I think I studied this farm uh, when I was like in, in undergrad, uh, but that was many decades ago. Uh, and and during that time, it was just like, it's it's you can't do it just by um, not brute force. I mean, I guess it is brute force, but backtracking, but uh, with, you know, reasonable pruning, but you have to do it in a very specific way known as the dancing links by Knuth, um just to kind of get it fast enough. But that was also like, nowadays I feel like computers are just faster and there are a lot of parallelization that you can take advantage of. Um, so I don't know, something along those lines. But today, let's get started. Um, yeah, I mean, but you know, why do I talk about all this sometimes? Sometimes it is because when you understand what problems are hard, quote unquote, complexity wise, then you don't try to come up with uh, any other thing else. For example, um, if I didn't know Sudoku, um, you know, or whatever, what I might do is uh, maybe I'll be like, oh, maybe there's a greedy solution because the root force seems to really complex, right? Um, and stuff like that. And then maybe you just spend a lot of time trying to prove it or prove the opposite of it or whatever. Um, and, and that's tough, right? So, so that's what knowledge gets you, uh, this idea of like understanding complexity theory and so forth. But um, yeah, uh, that's it because we, you know, let's, uh, let's get to it. Um, yeah, I don't know how hard it is to implement this one uh, in terms of whatever, but, but we can just YOLO it. Um, hmm. I don't want to write it. Hmm. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think what, what is like, because the tricky part about stuff like this is that it is way, um, yeah, that it is kind of, you know, you just, you just have to do it. Uh, and I'm trying to think like, what is the right data structure and stuff like that? And I haven't done this in a while. Uh, even it's been a while. I guess that's the the, the TLDR, uh, and I maybe I guess honestly probably the same thing as I did yesterday is probably good enough. Uh, so let, let's just keep it simple and do that. Where basically uh, maybe I'll keep track of what is initial because we're supposed to do it in place, fine, but we still want to keep track of like what's free, right? Because if you do um, what's it called. Uh, if you do a search, if you do a branch, it's quite a well actually, maybe that's very bad. Uh, if you do a branch and it doesn't work, you want to be able to, you know, revert whatever you're doing here. So, yeah. So we want to be able to do that. And we'll just get left to right, really. I don't think there's anything that, I mean, yeah, actually, maybe I, instead of doing this, maybe I can just do something like, um, yeah, maybe I'll still call it a relevant, but, but maybe I'll just go for X or... Mm, Honestly, I haven't implemented stuff like this for a while. And for stuff like board games, it's always, at least for me, it feels always like way one-off, like every time. I mean, Sudoku is a game that people know about, but in general, it just feels very one-off. And what I mean by that is just that, like, they're like, 
there are always special weird roles that you uh, uh, um, that I always kind of do and it always kind of uh, just a little bit funky but we can just do something like this if this is equal to um, period then maybe you know whatever, whatever, whatever. so then now we just have to keep track of yeah so then rows we won nine of these and yeah so we just go uh, and this is what we did yesterday right Uh, this is wrong though. We run for each row. We want nine of these. Who I am these, and then what do you call them? Maybe cells, big cells. But um, I don't know. Having just muscle memory in the other one. But yeah, we have nine, right? Okay, and then of course we maybe should put this here. That way we can say else um, x or not x. Uh, I always use x for everything. But C for current is equal to board of x, y, we're at minus 1. So we just go from 0 to 8, or uh, sorry, 0, yeah, 0 to 8 instead, which is fine, right? Uh, rows of, and we assume it is valid, right? Uh, like, I guess so, because it always has one solution. I assume that's right. Um, yeah. Of C is equal to true, columns of y of c is equal to true and then cells uh we probably i mean i went over it yesterday a little bit but maybe i could just write this way big x big big y is equal big e <laughs> is equal to uh x to the d y divided by three right so kind of map it that way and then now this is big x times three plus big y um c is equal to true right and we don't have to uh, i assume we don't have to validate because we assume the input is good uh we might have to though otherwise uh, but yeah, and then now it's just recursion, right? We, we we already have the available, so we actually just do a recursion thing. I'm just going to call it go. I'm a little bit lazy today, slash, I'm a little bit bad. Um, but if index is equal to length of available, then we are done, and we have accomplished everything. So then now maybe, what do we want to do? Mm, I'm going to say maybe found is equal to true, and then we just return, right? Uh, oh, sorry. Well, I mean, of course, this is going to be false in the beginning. We do non local found, found is equal to true, and we are happy. And then, yeah, and then we go on the first index. If, I guess we always, if found, so then we, oh, we don't have to return even, right? We just kind of stop uh, when this happens. So we can do something like for the current C in range from 0 to 9, or 0 to 9, yeah. Uh, not inclusive, of course. Then now, um, we we'll check if row sub. Um, oh, yeah, right. So we can do. We can say x y is equal to um, available sub index, right? And this is part of the thing is that we use that as the state. We don't even look at the board. We just use these, right? So first, we want to validate um, if x of c or columns y of c or cells of big x times three plus. Eh, I don't know. This this part. I mean, I guess you could use um, what you might call it, the walrus thing. All right. Well, if this is true, then we just continue, right? We, let's say it that way, and then we just kind of. I guess we reuse this, right? Because so, for every number, so let's just put it outside, and then we could even just put um, big C, big cell, right? And then now I guess you can say do 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 do. Uh, of C, and of course, in theory, you could, if you had bit mask or something like that, you could actually do an intersection and then find the next bit or something. But no need for premature optimization. If we need, it, we need it, we need it. But so far, no, uh, no necessito. Um, okay. Yeah, and then now it's just. Um, Oh, actually, we, I was going to say we don't even need the port, but I guess you actually do to, to because we, it is in a way returning it. 
So then now we want to say board of xy is equal to c. Um, no, I mean, it's kind of, but c plus 1. And then we want to write... Do, 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 do. Right, and then now we recurse, and then now we uh, what you call roll back. It's not roll call roll back, but but we know that this is you know, and technically speaking, I guess you don't need this part, but because we we already pre filter on these, so it should be okay. Uh, okay. I mean, I guess when you don't set anything, that's gonna happen. Um, it's found, and the reason why is because once we found is you go to true then we revert everything back, right? But what we want is that if found is equal to true, then we just return. Um, yeah, I, I forgot to write that. Let's, let's see if I make any silly mistakes. And that's it. Actually, not so bad. How long did that take? Yeah, only 11 minutes. Actually, faster than I expected. But I mean, it is just brute force, right? Because nowadays, things are fast enough. Because um, I feel like <laughs> on my older computer back in the day, I mean, this isn't even on my computer, right? It's on the server a bit. Well, my old computer, it would take like minutes and that's just, depending on what you want. I mean, if you want to like cheat on something online or something, it's fast enough. But if you're like, I don't know, because I, I, I was writing a, a something like this for as a study kind of thing of like trying, not, not this because this has no like power for me. But I was, I was playing around with like different kind of ideas to like study how to do Sudoku uh, faster. Uh, so you would just like have strategies that human do does, but just do it for you so that you could kind of like eliminate things and the elimination process, stuff like that. I don't know. Anyway, it's not that relevant. But yeah, uh, this is branch and bound. Uh, it's, well, there's no bound. I guess this is just actually exhaustive search. So that's it. Um, but, you know, be sure to be careful. But yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. This is the setup. This is the uh, recursion. And yeah, no need to prematurely optimize or even post maturely optimize. Uh, oh, I did the same thing. I, I wasn't sure if I did it this way or some other proof was. Oh, I did it with bit masks though. So, yeah, but you can. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I, I still kind of did this way, which is still awkward. But you, you probably could have intersect those three um, to, to do it in one loop, for example. So maybe that was. Hmm. Uh, but though you still have to do this, so maybe that doesn't save that much time. Anyway, that is all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take your mental health. Have a rest. A good. Let's have a good September, everybody. Uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.